I'm Joost van Velsen. I've been inventing things. <laughs> I've been inventing things since I was little. Didn't invent these though. And I, I wrote computer games when I was 12, and I gave my electric train a serious engine upgrade. When I started working for Solent Electronics, inventing became my work, and I love it. But I'm not inventing alone, because to innovate, you have to work together. So 10 years ago, we founded the DevLab, together with our competitors, and we've been working closely with universities and other companies ever since. We created this innovation flywheel in which we continuously inspire one another. And I've discovered that we can have the same flywheel effect with students during their internship. Together with students, we discover the practical applications of the technologies that we develop. And this is how the Achterlicht evolved into a highly innovative smart tail light. Melvin is one of the students who worked on the project and is now my colleague, and he will tell you all about the Achterlicht. When we started the assignment, our smart hill had only two features. It was automatic, and you could find your bike easily using an app. So we built this prototype and tested it on students at Winnersheim University. The feedback showed that they really liked it, but they wanted more. So we added an LED matrix display and sensors. This allowed for a lot of new functionality. We could now customize the tail light and were able to generate uh, safety warnings. Uh, also, our bike could um, indicate sudden braking, and warn other traffic when you fall. We launched a crowdfunding campaign at a major technology show in Utrecht. We met with a lot of our backers in that first week, and uh, they had really good suggestions and feedback for us. We even talked to a deaf man who told us that uh, the Achterlicht would be a great opportunity for deaf people to indicate that they can't hear horns or bells behind them. We were basically innovating together with our backers. Halfway through the crowdfunding campaign, we updated our product with many of the requested features, such as direction indicators and a remote. The reason that the Achterlicht is such a safe tail light is because most safety features are fully automatic. And we put the intelligence in there to make it automatic. Now, automatic things are easy to use, and making things easy is the key. For instance, smart light bulbs could make it easy to save energy by automatically switching off whenever you're not in a room. A smart chair can detect your posture and warn you before your back starts to hurt. And of course, smart tail lights, such as ours, can make traffic safer in many ways, just as Melvin explained. And that is how smart technology can make a difference. That is the opportunity. This is how smart technology must and can contribute to our health, our climate, and our safety. What we need to do is we need to think beyond the core functionality of a product. We need to think, how can we make this better? What, what can it do more? And to answer these questions, we have to work together. We are very proud to present you our smart bike. It's a rental bike, and it shows just, much, just how much is possible when we work together and think beyond the core functionality of a product. This is one practical bike for anyone who needs to ride to the city. Both front and tail lights are fully automatic. It has four direction indicators you can control with your thumb. This way, you can keep both hands on the handlebars, except for the mic, but <laughs> you can keep both hands on the handlebars, which is important because this gives you more stability, makes it far less likely you will fall and have an accident. And of course, our smart bike has all the great safety features of our smart tail light. But the best part is, you can get this bike anywhere in the city. There's no need to go to a rental shop or return it, because these bikes are parked in public parkings. You just open the app, it will show the bike nearest to you, tap reserve, and walk up to it. When you're near the bike, all the lights will start flashing, so you know you can easily find your bike. <laughs> And you know you have to ride one. Um, then you tap start rental, the bike will unlock and your rental begins. When you're done, you can uh, lock the bike and end your rental or you can opt to reserve the bike for when you return. But there's more. One of the universities we cooperate with has tested air quality sensors in Rotterdam. Air quality is a major issue all over the world and avoiding the worst pollution can actually save many lives. 
So we put air quality sensors on this bike so we can measure how healthy your trip was. But still, there's more. The past 10 years, we've been working with universities and other companies to perfect a new form of wireless communication based on gossiping. And it's just as fast and unstoppable as real gossip. Now, the advantage of gossiping is that you don't need to be in constant contact with each other to exchange information. For instance, these bikes can exchange information whenever they pass each other in traffic. And to do that, we just had it to add a little bit of extra software. So basically, we created a city-wide communications network at zero additional costs. And these bikes don't just talk to each other. They can talk to every sensor in the city, meaning those sensors no longer need expensive cellular data. And of course, the bike itself is a mobile sensor, so you need far less sensors. So what this bike can actually contribute is all the information the city needs to effectively fight pollution, just because we made a smart bike a little bit smarter. <laughs> and this bike, it, it doesn't just get you from A to B. So this is a bike that does so safely, and it doubles as a citywide communication network. And by doing that, we have shown you that smart technology can be a great opportunity. How great? Well, analysts predict that in the next five years, billions of smart devices are going to be made. We are all responsible for our planet, in our own ways and in our own profession. We as electronic engineers have the responsibility to make the most of smart devices by working together with universities and our competitors. This bike is just one example of smart technology that doesn't only make our lives easier. It's an opportunity for a safer, better and healthier city. And that, ladies and gentlemen, serves us all. <laughs>